A war of words breaking out on Beacon Hill this week. The Senate and House trying to finish their workload for the end of the session, but still sparring over details with just a little time left for compromise. NBC 10 political commentator and political reporter Matt Pritchard is at the State House with details. Matt. Colton, I'll take the reporter. I'll leave the commentating to Sue in just a minute or so. But this all ties back to a substance use bill. The House passed theirs about a month ago, and the Senate did the same this week. But the problem is there are big differences here and very little time left to bridge the gap. Disagreement in the waning moments of formal session. And it's a bit disappointing. Uh, members worked hard on the bill. The Senate will continue to roll up its sleeves. The House and Senate divided over a substance use bill grappling with whether towns statewide can create safe monitored injection sites, a policy that's included in the Senate bill, but not in the House version. To throw it in the bill at the very last minute, knowing that it will be difficult for me to even put a conference committee together, is, is just tells me you're not serious about getting the bill done. Now, normally, a policy difference like this would be given to a collection of members from both chambers to hammer out a compromise. Is it even possible right now to get something like uh, that done? It's, it's, it's a long shot, highly unlikely. But Senate President Karen Spilka and her members are pushing back. The House has produced some new major proposal today. Uh, they came out with, what, seven bills was it yesterday or today? I'm doing so many, I can't keep track. The biggest barrier to doing this today relates to liability provisions. Arguing safe injection sites take a good bill and make it even stronger. This is one tool uh, that we're talking about in part of a larger package. Um, but overdose prevention centers really have shown promise. And really the risk they run here is losing all momentum with this bill, running out of time and ultimately having to scrap it and try and start from scratch once formal sessions kick back up. Of course, included in all of this is a lot of addiction and opioid related policies that lawmakers would like to get done. We'll see if they can do it. They have until midnight tomorrow night. On Beacon Hill, Matt Pritchard, NBC 10 Boston.